thought I'd do a, a, a little video on dirty electricity filters. It's uh, an aspect of EMF pollution that, uh, that many people ignore. I think that's because it's quite a subtle pollutant. And I, I wanted to make this video because I, I felt a little bit, oh, um, it's guilty the word, because I've been involved with dirty electricity filters in discovering them, manufacturing them, selling them, um, advising people on them now for well, since 2008, whatever that is, um, 14 years. And um, I've always, you know, we've moved, Esther and I have moved um, quite a few times in that period. And it's always been something I just did, you know, I never, I never considered, I've never considered living in a, in a home where dirty electricity is not, is not filtered. Um, it would almost be like not drinking filtered water. That's something else I would never do. You know, it, it's just, um, it's just normal for me. And, and so I thought, oh, I've not really, I've not really explained why and what's going on. So here it is, what's happening with dirty electricity, what it is, why I get rid of it. Oh, it's up to you what you do with it. Um, so dirty electricity, if, if, if this is going to be, you know, the, the techies out there are going to be, well, this is a bit simple, but I think this is the best way to describe it. The, the normal sine wave of electricity, um, whilst many of us believe you know, electricity is, ever since it's been around has always been a problem, it's not that problematic in the general atmosphere, so not to be confused with body voltage, go there another time. In the general atmosphere of a building, electricity until it is interrupted and therefore made dirty is not that i believe biologically active but once you interrupt it and you put a vibration on your electricity circuit then that vibration becomes an emf transmitter very subtle i agree but nevertheless a biologically effective or effect infecting affecting affecting or whatever it is um uh, pollutant so you need to remove it. So what, what, what causes it? Why is it here? Well, generally the electricity supply that we receive is, is often not that clean um, because it's, you know, it's part of a big uh, grid, if you like, that, that is, is interrupted by products is one way of putting it. Uh, so your supply into your home will be usually cleanish, but, but with, with a dirty hint, let's put it that way. But then once you get it into your home, you put fridges on it, computers, chargers, televisions. And what happens is that that cleanish sine wave of electricity comes into an appliance, is stopped while the appliance thinks what it's, it's very layman's terms, stopped while the appliance thinks about what it's going to do to it. That creates a vibration which transmits subtle electric and magnetic fields into your environment. So what do you do? You put a filter on it, a dirty electricity filter, which is a simple thing that is just basically uh, resistors and capacitors that takes in the supply, takes off the vibration, sends it out clean again or clean air again. And so you don't have as much radio frequency, subtle radio frequency in your home, school or office environment. For me, it's a no brainer. I mean, uh, well, it depends how many, how big your house is. Is it cheap or expensive? It depends on how you value your health. I don't think about it. I, you know, the I don't know what they are, depending on where you are, euros, 30, 40 dollars, 20, no more than that, about 30 pounds, I think. Uh, and you may need quite a few of them, but it's it's a once in a lifetime job. I and mean, we've got filters and friends of ours have got filters we've had for many, many years. Uh, as long as you don't over stress them you know the worst thing you can do is not put enough filters in because then you know they they can overheat and they can break if you put um you know use the right monitor use one of our monitors read the simple instructions put the filters in and forget about them uh, and forget about that particular element of electromagnetic poisoning that you would otherwise be subject to